Hey guys, let's talk about maps. So a common question that comes to both myself and the Dundas support team is that you have this folder of map files and I can't find the map that I want to see. What do I do? Oh well, there is a solution to this. I'm Jeff and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Now, since this is a special Game of Thrones edition of Off the Charts with Jeff, let's add a dragon. Now, if you can name this dragon, we're going to have a contest. So grab the email at the end of this video, tell me what this guy's name is, and we'll put you into a raffle to see who can win some sweet Dundas prizes. Now back to the maps. You can see here in the Dundas BI Project Explorer that there's map files available. Various continents are given, countries. But what if you need something very specific? Maybe I need to know where all the different water sources are in Afghanistan. We're not gonna have a map for that. So what do you do? Well, one thing that's pretty cool is that you can actually go and bring in your own map files. Dundas BI uses something called an ESRI shapefile, E-S-R-I. And this is a very common format. Universities, government agencies, do a Google search. You'll find it for anything. And I mean, you can find a map for anything. In order to do this, all you need are these files that it comes with. So if I wanted this coastlines map that we've got here, coastlines two, make sure you have the DBF file, which provides data. You want the shape file that provides just the structure. And realistically, if you just give Dumbness BI everything, you can drag and drop these files directly into that maps folder here on the right hand side and Dundas be able to load that map and be able to use it. You can see by me dragging that file in here, I now have this coastline map that I can simply drag and drop and start using right on the dashboard. Now here is a great practical example of me bringing in my own map file. Here's a map of Westeros and Essos. I brought this in using an Esri shape file that I found on the internet, simply dragging and dropping it into Dundas BI like I showed you before. Now, since this is Game of Thrones, all of these locations have some kind of significance. Maybe we want to know just where the castles and cities were. We can simply make that selection. And I can just click in order to see specific information about what I selected. So let's click on King's Landing and get a full description. So there is one thing that you should watch out for if you're going to download your own Ezra shape files. And that's sometimes they can be massive. Whoever you're downloading it from can potentially provide a lot of detail. And if you're giving a simple diagram on a dashboard, you might not need that much information. You probably don't need a 500 meg file in order to just show a simple map on your dashboard. So one of the techniques that I like to use is a free tool called MapShaper. You can see here, mapshaper.org. I simply drag and drop these files onto the dashboard, say okay and import, and you can see that it'll bring it into MapShaper. From there, there's a nice little simplify function. And you can just bring down the quality. Now, you don't want to go too far. That wouldn't look very good. But even a small percentage will still look great on a dashboard, but will give you quick loading time for your users. Because the last thing you want to do is have them have to download a 500 meg file. Give them something small. I've brought very large files down to 20K had great performance, looks great, and kind of gives you the best of both worlds. I hope you like what you've seen today. And if you do know the name of that dragon, please do feel free to reach out to us, askjeff at dundas.com. We'd love to hear your feedback and we'll get you into that raffle.